Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss episode 2020 abstract algebra question number 28 and 29 from paper 2. So first we will discuss uh, question number 28 and the question is if n is a positive integer such that 15 less than or equal to n is less than 29 and 1359 is congruent to n modulo 15 then n is equal to and the four options are option number a 18 option number b 19 option number c 24 and option number d 27 so we have to choose one correct option from this four and here the question is about to find the number n such that 1359 is congruent to n modulo 15 and here n value lies in between 15 and 29 here 15 is less than or equal to n so the possibilities for n are 15 16 17 18 19 and up to so on 28 because n value is strictly less than 29 so we go through the options so here first option is option number a is 18 so before going to the solution first we have to recall if a is congruent to be modulo n then we have n divides a minus b this is the property if a is congruent to be modulo n here a and b are integers and uh, n is also an integer if a is congruent to be modulo n then we have n divides a minus b by using this property we find the number n so here given that coming to the solution so given that n greater than 0 because n is a positive integer that means n is greater than 0 such that it value is lies between 15 is less than or equal to n is strictly less than 29 and the relation is 1359 is congruent to n modulo 15 okay that is here a is congruent to be modulo n means n divides here n means uh, 15 so that is 15 divides the difference 1359 minus n so we have to find that n value so here we go through the options first option 18 that means if we take n is equal to 18 then 15 doesn't divide 1359 minus 18 that is 15 doesn't divide 1341 okay similarly if n is equal to second option 19 then 15 doesn't divide 1359 minus 19 that is 15 doesn't divide 1340 just simple uh, division if n is equal to 24 then 15 divides 1359 minus 24 that is 15 divides 1335 that is value is equal to 89 if we divide 1335 by 15 we get 89 as answer okay it is divisible and similarly if n is equal to 27 last option d then 15 doesn't divide 13 59 minus 27 that is 15 doesn't divide 1332 that means here whenever n is equal to 24 we get 15 divides 1335 that is value is 89 so whenever a is congruent to be modulo n we have the relation n divides a minus b so here n is equal to 24 satisfies this condition so here option number c is correct therefore option c is correct therefore required answer is n is equal to 24 is it clear this is question number 28 now moving to next question that is question number 29 and here the question is let capital a be a set with eight elements 
if the number of commutative binary operations that can be defined on capital A is n, then we have to find log n base 2 is equal to dash. And the four options are option number A, 36, option number B, 72, option number C, 108, and option number D, 144. And here the question is about to find the number of uh, committed to binary operations that can be defined on a set consisting of eight elements. And here that number is given by n. Then we have to find uh, the value of log n base 2. Okay. So we have uh, a standard formula for this. So recall that formula. If cardinality of a is equal to n, that means capital A is a set with n elements, then the number of committed to binary operations that can be defined on capital A means A is a set with n elements, then the number of committed to binary operations that can be defined on capital A is given by n to the power n square plus n by 2. Okay, so this is standard formula. So here, order of A means the cardinality of A is 8 because A is a set with uh, 8 elements. So we will see the solution of this problem. So given that, given that cardinality of A is equal to 8 means A we are set with 8 elements means cardinality of 8 is A is equal to 8. So that the number of commutative, commutative binary operations, binary operations that can be defined on capital A is given by the formula n to the power n square plus n by 2 but here n is equal to 8 and it is given in the hypothesis that the number of uh, committed to binary operations that can be defined on capital A is n. So we have 8 to the power 8 square plus 8 by 2 and that number is given as n. Is it clear? So that is, we simplify this. So this can be written as 8 to the power 8 square means uh, 64 plus 8 means this is 72 by 2 which is equal to n. That is 8 to the power 36 is equals to n. Okay. Here 8 can be written as 2 cube. Okay. 2 cube means 8. So this is 2 cube whole to the power 36 is equals to n. Is it clear? Okay. Now, therefore, therefore, log n base 2 is equal to, we have uh, log n means 2 cube whole to the power 36 base 2. So, by using logarithmic properties, this can be written as 36 into log 2 cube base 2. Okay. Again, this can be written as 36 into 3 into log 2 base 2. And by using logarithmic property, log 2 base 2 value is equal to 1. So, we have 36 into 3 that is 108 therefore our option C is correct okay is it clear so we got log n base 2 as 108 therefore our option number C is the correct option I hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching